Today we're going to talk about how to set a Save the River shoal marker. The first item you need, obviously, is one of our shoal markers, which are stored up at Northern Marine. You can contact Save the River if you need information on how to find Northern Marine. The first thing we do when we're working with these shoal markers is we attach what we call a tail piece of chain, generally 12 to 18 inches long, and you attach it to the shoal marker with a shackle. You can see one that's already been in the water here. Anywhere you use a shackle, once you've tightened it up to the chain, you should take a tie wrap and put it through and pull it back on itself. This just helps keep the shackle in place because the vibration from the wave action out there is so strong shackles can back off so this keeps them from backing off the second piece to the puzzle is the anchors and we generally use two concrete blocks for most of our shoal markers out in deeper rougher areas some people will use a third concrete block it does make it pretty heavy but it does hold better what i do is take a piece of chain Kind of my rule of thumb is if we're anchoring one of these in five feet of water, I'll use about 10 feet of chain. That allows the marker to move around without pulling directly on the anchors every time. And I take the chain <clears throat> and put it through this way. And then tie it together with a shackle. And you should tighten these shackles down with pliers, again, so they don't back away. And then the same drill, you want to tie this shackle on, secure it with the tie wrap. All right. And I highly recommend doing any of this work that you can before you get out in your boat because when you're trying to do all this and you're bouncing around, it can be, uh, it can be harder, it can be dangerous. This is heavy equipment. So the more of this you can do on shore, the happier you'll be. Then we tie together these last two pieces. Again, put the, the plastic through the tie wrap. And there you go. <clears throat> when you throw these over the side to mark, I generally throw the anchor first. If the water's too deep, you might want to put the shoal marker in first and let it float because when you throw these blocks over, they go down very quickly. When we're pulling them out, pulling the shoal marker at the end of the season, what I do or try to do is just pull the marker and take apart the, uh, the tail from the main anchor chain and then tie on an old bumper with maybe 10 or 15 feet of line, tie it on here securely. And when you come back in the spring, hopefully you'll be able to find the anchor chain. That makes it a lot easier than having to pull the blocks too. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'm John Peach at Save the River, and thank you for helping on this project.